is up guys and welcome to another HGR healthy gaming recipes and of course our, our friend is back cauliflower today we're gonna be making cauliflower mashed potatoes it seems like there's so many things you can make with cauliflower which is a vegetable last time we made cauliflower pizza um, not last time more like months ago. Anyways, I have been eating this nonstop. Usually when I do these videos, I wanna make sure I eat it multiple times and uh, to, to kinda get the feel of it. So here, all you're gonna need is sour cream, the cauliflower, of course, and some garlic salt. I really like, you gotta be careful, make sure it's garlic salt. I got something from like Publix or whatever and it wasn't the same. Make sure it doesn't say, Well, this one says garlic sea salt too, but it just wasn't, just wasn't good. Anyways, also the tools you will need will be a blender. Don't laugh at my crappy blender. I don't have enough money for a Vitamix like everybody else, all right? And of course, I got an upgrade with the knife section. You can never have too many knives. And of course, a cutting board and a pot. So the first thing you're gonna need is to cut the cauliflower florets on the top. Get right in there. You could have done this way before you started cutting this, but you can heat up your pot. Wow, there's a big bee out there. Holy crap. It, it's gone now. <laughs> and that was like, that was pretty, that was a saucy, juicy. Oh, oh, it's coming to the window. As I was saying, you can fill up your pot with uh, hot water and start boiling it while you're cutting the florets. Obviously, I should have done that way before then. But uh, of course, fill your pot up with some water and put it on. Now, once your pot begins to boil, then you wanna take all your florets and put it inside the pot. I think I put too much water in here. My mom said not to waste anything. So you gotta make sure you get all the scraps Put it all in there, all in there. Oh. Don't waste anything. Now put it in there, let it boil for about, I'm gonna say the sweet spot is around eight to 10 minutes. It's like breaking bad in here. All right, after you boil it, of course, turn off the fire, please. And take it over here. And um, I'm using a strainer here to uh, kind of like drain out all the water. You don't need to use that, but I'm gonna use that. And make sure before you take it off the fire that there are just about right. You don't want it too soft, you know? You, you wanna feel a little bit of penetration when you stick the, you know, the fork right into them. So pour it right into your strainer. Oh yeah, fogging up my glasses. So once this is strained, then you wanna take like a towel um, and kind of pat it down a little bit. This is not gonna be the same as the, the cauliflower uh, pizza crust where you have to strain out all the water. No, no, you don't have to do that with this. Um, it will generally be a little drier if you do kind of pat it down, you know, really well to kind of get all that excess water out, but you don't really need to. It's still gonna have the consistency of uh, mashed potatoes. So after you have this all strained out, uh, you can now put it into your blender. All right. And be careful uh, because it is hot. So you just wanna play kind of like hot potato with it. And just kinda, just kinda, just kinda put it in there. It's all right. <sighs> now, once you have it inside of your blender, now you wanna start adding your ingredients like sour cream. All right, you can use fat-free sour cream if you want. I generally like um, um, Trader Joe's sour cream. No, they're not sponsoring me. Trader Joe's, sponsor me please, because I mentioned you way too much. Nice and creamy sour cream looking like ice cream. 
and put that in there. Depending on how big your cauliflower is, you can put a little bit more sour cream if you want. You know what I'm saying? If your cauliflower is not that big, then put a little bit less white stuff on it. Now put your garlic salt. All right, so once you have all your ingredients inside of your blender, then you obviously want to start blending. If your blender is having too much trouble, because, you know, it's a cheap blender, you know, I got one too, you know, no judgments here. You know, you gotta, you gotta fork a fork it, you know what I'm saying? You gotta give it a little polka polka. And once everything is done, don't worry, the smoke doesn't mean, you know, bad things are happening. It just means it's hot. Hot with flavor. Mm. You're basically done. Now, if you, if you taste it and it needs a little bit more garlic salt, then go ahead and put some more. Or if it just, you know, just needs some more salt, you know, put some little bit of sea salt in there or whatever you have or whatever seasons you have, seasoning you have. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty much gonna come out just like mashed potatoes. It, this is done in like, what, like 25 minutes-ish, depending how slow you are with knives. And if you're young, please have some parent supervision when you're using knives. You know, especially if you like me and you're, you're very dangerous. Here we go, here we go. Don't waste nothing now. Pour it all in there. All of it, all of it. You see how it is? Look, look at that nice mash when you're done you are left with mashed potatoes oh yeah oh yeah and that's a lot too just for one cauliflower let me take a take a bite of that the good thing is it doesn't really have a cauliflower taste to it uh the sour cream really gives it that like nice creamy feeling that you get you know the, the pendant now, if you get that mashed potatoes from grandma house, you know what I'm saying? She'll be putting that butter. She'll be, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, it'd be so good. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the return of the healthy gaming recipes. I, 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 I was going to maybe turn it into boo or something, but I was like, I'm going to shoehorn something crazy into it. And I was like, eh, you guys don't, you guys don't. You guys care about the recipes. You guys care about the video, if it's entertaining or not. So, I just decided just to go with this. If I do come up with a cool gaming idea, I'll probably toss it in a little bit later. But, for now, mashed potatoes. Give me feedback. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. I'm going to add in the price of these uh, materials just to make this. And this is quite a bit. You can you kind of size it up to my head here. Um, quite a bit uh, for just one cauliflower. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to put up all the pictures that you guys sent me of the things you cooked. And um, this is great. I'm glad you guys are liking them. And uh, here is the return. See you guys and keep healthy because I need you to watch my videos. <music> She be putting that butter. She be oh Lord Jesus. Oh, it'd be so good. It'd be so good. But I, I ain't I ain't trying to die early. Okay, I'm trying to keep I'm trying to keep this figure, whatever you might want to call this. <laughs> don't laugh at me. My wife laughing at me over. And, don't laugh at me. <laughs>